Hello everyone, welcome to Twisted Serenity with Mimi. Thanks for clicking on my channel. Today, I will be bringing you some lemon-themed fake bait decor. I'm excited to show you guys what we have made. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to make a fake bait cake. So, I picked up these styrofoam rounds from Dollar Tree and I just stacked them up all together using hot glue. And they're not all the same. Dollar Tree products usually don't come in the same sizes. But that's fine. We're going to cover that up. So we started off with Burnt Umber and Territorial Beige. And we're going to mix those two paints together. And we're going to dab them on to our cake. Because we are going to make a naked cake. That's why I did paint it. I usually never paint them. Because I usually just cover with our fake frosting, which is spackle. And I'm just dabbing it on because we know the styrofoam sucks up all that paint. So once it's all painted, I grabbed this little pokey tool that I had and I'm going to just go along like the creases of the circles because since I want it to look like a naked cake I wanted to make it look like the layers of a cake I don't know you guys sometimes I don't make a lot of sense when I'm talking but you guys could see what I'm doing so then I grab my lightweight spackle in which I invested in a big tub because those Dollar Tree tubs just I mean, I go through them like crazy, like water. And I'm just going to rub it all over the styrofoam um, circles. And don't worry, because we're going to pull most of that off. And I just use a popsicle stick. If you have like the knife spatula, use that. But... So when we pull off the spackle, we are going to leave some like... You see like the third one down? I just left more spackle on that layer and then I started pulling off on the other layers so you could show that paint to come through so it could look like the illusion of the cake, a naked cake. Okay, so our cake is all frosted, so I picked up these berry picks at the 4th of July section at Dollar Tree. And these are some um, berry picks that I had from fall time. And I just took some purple, I'm sorry, not purple, blue, red, and a little bit of green paint to give it that blueberry color. And I painted all the berries. I put some of that spackle inside of the bag. I'm going to pipe up a little dollop of spackle and stick a little lemon right on top and then I'm going to take the berries and I'm gonna just use a little bit of spackle at the bottom of the berries and I want to put the berries on the cake as well I want it to be a blueberry lemon cake I have seen a lot of like lemon fake bakes like a lemon fake bake cakes but I'm not really like haven't seen a blueberry lemon fake bake cake and I just wanted to try something a little different I'm also gonna put some of the little blueberries around the little dollop of our cake and basically that was it it was so simple and I feel like it was so elegant to fit into like radon farmhouse any type of decor that you have Okay, you guys, I found these little donuts in the toy section at Dollar Tree. They come in the fake food bags. And I just took um, some white chalk paint and I wanted to give it like a base coat before I painted over it. Apple barrel burnt umber paint. Now, you could leave them like that. You don't have to paint them because we are going to cover the tops. I just wanted to give it a little, a little darker color. And then I took the territorial beige and I just made um, a little line in the middle. Because you know how donuts have that little, that bacon little, when they bake them, they have like that little circle 
type thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, they all dried up. And I took some caulk from Dollar Tree, some Mod Podge, and some Apple Barrel Paint in Sunny Day. And I put it inside of a paint bottle. I'm sorry, one of those dispense bottles. And I just shake it up. And that is going to be our frosting. You could use spackle, you could use puffy paint. This is, I just wanted to give it like a little, a little something, something. I wanted to try something new. And I just went around the donut and I just put the icing on it. And I used a little stick to like smudge it on to give it that glazed frosting look. And I wanted to look, make it look like it was like dripping over the donut. And once I did that, while it was still a little bit wet, um, I just took um, some fake sprinkles that I had made out of some clay and I also got UV resin um, Those little bead packs. I got those from Michaels for only like two dollars and some change And they brought like lemons watermelons bananas a bunch of like little different fruits And I just took the little lemons out and I just put them right on top as well And it was that quick. I feel like these little donuts would be such a perfect addition for the tea tray or for the coffee bar, for the lemonade stand, whatever it is. So I picked up these cups from Dollar Tree and I wanted to make a little lemon parfait. And I didn't notice, like I had the vision that I wanted to get those cups, but I didn't notice that on the cover it had already a lemon parfait. So I was like, oh perfect, it's meant to be. So I'm grabbing the spackle and I'm just mixing some of the sunny day paint. So we're going to start off with our first layer, which is going to be our blueberries. So once we got our blueberries at the bottom, we are going to grab the yellow frosting. And we are going to put the yellow frosting as our second layer. So when I put it in, I push it down a little bit. And I also um, take a paper towel once it's pushed down and I just clean it up and then we have the spackle inside the piping bag and we do a dollop of the white spackle and then we just repeat that process one more time until we get to the top of our little cup and then we top off the top of it with a lemon slice and some of those fake sprinkles and I forgot to mention these lemon slices I got them off of Amazon for a big bag and they usually come like like the whole lemon slice in half and I just cut it in half. It looks so good. It's like I wanted to eat it. Okay, we got this three pack of styrofoam balls at Dollar Tree and a piece of cardstock. And I just basically free handed like a cupcake liner, the shape of a cupcake liner. Um so I just glued up the ends of it and I just made a bottom. I basically did my own type of cupcake liner. If you have a Cricut, I know Cricut has like the template. You could take a cupcake liner, trace it out. I just did what I had to do. Stuck the styrofoam ball in there and I just started frosting my cupcake. And once I had my whole cupcake frosted, I took that concoction of Mod Podge and caulk and all that and I drizzled it over the top of the cupcake and then I am going to decorate it using the stuff that we've been using, using the fake blueberries and the lemon. What I love about all these fake bakes that we're making today, they're all different fake bakes but it's all used in the same materials that we have. So we're able to get a bunch of projects, or should I say a bunch of little fake baked desserts, out of the same repetitive materials that we are using today. And everything was mostly from Dollar Tree, and if it wasn't from Dollar Tree, like the bulk lemons, that was from Amazon, and I mean, I still have ba like bags of it left, and the little UV resin little lemons, those were only $2 and some change, and I still have all the other fruits. So it's very inexpensive as well.
by far this is my favorite project that i've ever done and i'm going to do two different types of lemonade so i started off with that salt and pepper shaker that i picked up at my local grocery store for a dollar and then the little tea light um holders i picked those up from dollar tree and that lemon bath hand soap was from dollar tree as well i pour the lemon soap into the cup and i cut one of those lemons in half and i'm just gonna put the lemons inside there because you could see inside the glass now i'm just using my glue gun to make a hole for the straw because my wood my little hot knife ended up breaking so i make a hole inside the top of the cup and once i'm done making the hole i'm going to stick the straw through once i have that straw through i'm going to take the tea light little kit from dollar tree and i'm gonna take out those little gems and i'm going to start gluing the gems on top of the cup it's gonna make it look like um ice i i'm telling you i love the way this came out it's so cool i want to make so many more now for the lemonade i am using soap so but if you want to use resin or anything like that go right ahead you do you i can always empty it out and we fill it up the next year now i left a little space where the gems are at because i'm going to take a half of a lemon and i'm going to glue the half of the lemon between the little ice um yeah the between the little ice um chips so once i have that um that little lemon glued down i am going to take the rest of the gems and glue them on top this little cup of lemonade i'm telling you it was so perfect it honestly came out better than I expected it to come out. So cute, right? Now, I took a mason jar, a salt and pepper, a mini one, a salt and pepper shaker from Dollar Tree, a mason jar, and sea glass, and I did the same thing. I filled it up with the soap. And I took out the white sea glass, the clear ones, and I stuck those inside the mason jar to make that look like ice. Now, once I had it um, filled up, I took a black straw. I wanted to change it up a little bit, and I stuck it inside our glass. And then I took a whole lemon slice, and I burnt a hole inside the middle of the lemon. And I'm going to slide the lemon slice um on top of the straw now be careful because i'm sitting there with slippery fingers and sharp scissors going through that lemon like a crazy woman now i felt like my cup was a little too plain so i took this piece of little burlap ribbon and i put it around the rim of the top of the mason glass and i'm sorry mason jar you say mason glass and then I took this um, lemon sticker from these new stickers they brought to Dollar Tree and I just glued it to the front of the glass. And that was it. Two little cups of lemonade. So cute, so inexpensive. Okay, so I took this little pumpkin from Dollar Tree during fall time. And it's the one that has like the buffalo print. And I just unwrapped it and I was like, oh my god, this would be perfect for a fake bake lunch cake. So I started taking, I took it and I started to paint it and I took uh, territorial beige and khaki and I mixed those two paints together and I started painting it. And I was like, hold on a second, it looks a little too pumpkin-y for me. So once I had it painted, I decided to cut it in half. And I was like, yes, this looks better. Um, a better bun cake. So I took, um, took it and I glued it to the plastic plate. Now, I made another concoction of cock, mod podge, and paint. And um, sunny day, it's sunny day yellow paint. And I wanted this one just to be a little bit lighter. So I put in a little plastic bag and I started drizzling it. Because I wanted the the drippings to be like in between each of the crease of the bun cake. And I was like, mm, it looks a little too unnatural for me. So um, when I did that, 
I was like, hold on a second. Let me just pour on this little mixture that we have. And I'll just start swishing the cake from side to side. So the drippings can happen more naturally. That was way better. So do that first. Don't do as I did unless you have like a better technique. Go right for it. Then I decided to take some of the spackle. And I did little dollops on the top of it. And here we go once again with the lemons. And I cut two lemons on the side. You'll see. And I put one in the middle. And I decided to take a crayon. And I started to I wanted to do shavings. So they could look like, like the zest of the lemon. And then added those fake blueberries. And that was it. I honestly cannot pick a favorite. They're just all so cute. If you have a favorite, drop it down in the comments below and let me know what you think. Let's make some cookies. I took air dry clay and I rolled it out and I took a shape of a wood circle and I just cut out the wood circle and then I cut it in half because we're going to make some little, little lemon cookies. Um, honestly, I was like on a fake bake lemon binge. binge. I could not stop once I got started. I did a bigger circle and a smaller circle. You could, you don't have to trace them out like that. Like I do, it just, I'm the worst. I cannot cut a, like shapes out for the life of me. So I painted my edges with a dark, like a darker brown color to go with the cookie in. Then I painted them yellow. I took some puffy paint and just drew little designs on them. And I just did, did I just did a couple cookies all different using the puffy paint and using the fake berries and the little lemon sprinkles. So I made a little lemon cream sandwich. I cut out two circles of clay and I stuck some spackle in the middle of it and I just sandwiched the two pieces together and then I just cleaned up the middle of it and I put the puffy paint on top, added the little sprinkles on top and for every little cookie I made I had to add the glitter. I had to like bedazzle. I honestly hope you guys try one of these. They were so fun and they make your decor look so much more beautiful. Thank you guys for watching remember to like share subscribe and turn on that bell notification to be notified when i post my next video and always always remember this world could throw you twists and turns but always make good choices to the next one you guys